today. If you're gonna buy it, make sure you buy an LED because some people sell them on eBay and they for I, I, they this is this is pretty much this is a part I wanna see it on a pic on a picture. I wanna see a picture of the screen itself on front the connector and the label in the back. That's all I want to see it. So sometimes they sell those, you know, the CFL with the wire, this. But the way they take the picture, they. I know some. It is in the descriptions and everything, but sometimes they confuse. People get confused. Think they buying an LED. You know, I do believe there's a LEDs with uh, with the wire. I do believe it is. I'm not sure. Just like the CFL, and that you need to double check every time you buy. Double check the the LED ones. Just have the the connector here on the back. And that's it. That's where the power for for the LED comes and everything. That's it. It it also. The same computer you also have a shut keyboard. Keyboards are shut. Those are junk. It's an awesome keyboard. It's junk. I'm gonna pull them out. Like. If you turn it on, the computer on, the alarm goes off. You see there's a keyboard problem. So, I'm gonna pull the keyboard out. See, I'll show you guys how, how to do it. Um, got a CD you can inside the computer. Okay, just use a. I always use a little screwdriver, I got a bunch of it. It's pretty good to have. They're not that cheap. I actually got it. I don't know where I got those, but I got. This is a flathead one. It's, it's always work good with the small parts because this little top here spins off. So, right now. so you you come on the top. You're gonna try to pry the the. If you see it on top, you'll see the little pin coming from the side of the computer holding the keyboard. Things like yeah, like um. Mm, it's like six, I believe. You just put something and you try to pry from the base of the keyboard. Don't pry on the keys because sometimes people pry on a key thinking thinking they're prying on a base. You're just gonna pop the key out. So what you need to do is find the base of it. Once you find the base of the keyboard, you'll see the keyboard will move a little bit. Then you pop it up. In the other one up to and so once you're doing this make sure you you don't slow so yes okay once they're out don't pull it because uh, the the cable with connect the keyboard to the computer is not that long damage the connect uh, the connector on the computer board so what you do is just flip slowly okay. you need to flip it like this slow that's it you have the connector here connecting you usually have I don't know, some computers got a different color but got a little black part over here Uh, see, there's a little black part on top of the the, the connector. What you do is the cable will slide out fairly easy, but try not to do that. Unless you, you can go with your own nail and you're gonna twist the the black top up. You just move up and you free the cable. You just move him up. The cable comes right out. And it stays there. Here's the keyboard. For some reason it's, it's not working. So, and that's it. 
Okay, like you can see, Ring of Fury is on. Got, got the lights. I got all going. I'm gonna see it. Okay. It's right over there. The computer is there. The problem is, I'm, I'm in right now, I don't have no keyboard. So, you ask me for that, I'm just gonna wait until the seconds count by and just start normal. <laughs> I can connect the keyboard. There's a keyboard behind the behind the display over there that I use for in case I need it. <laughs> 